right, what would be the first thing everybody mounts to the side of their rack? Oh, definitely an awning. No, no, we've done the awning already. This is the shovel mount review. Oh, yep, 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 shovel. All right, got that. All right, anyway, this is our ultimate four-way shovel mount comparison. We have front runner, quick fist, rhino rack, and Yakima. All right, well, starting with the front runner mounts, these are a ratcheting style mount. The shovel is removed by simply releasing the catch and pulling the shovel straight out. Installation is just as easy. Hold the shovel in place with one hand and then start ratcheting down until tight. Let's have a quick look at the pros of this style of mount, starting with the strength of the mount. We've been using this for years and never had a tree rip a shovel from the mounts. This is the strongest mount we've used. Next up is how quickly you can remove the shovel. The shovel can be off within seconds. And finally, its size. A low profile only adding millimeters to the overall width of the shovel itself. It's a great low profile design. The first downside to these is the versatility. They're designed for the side profile on front runner racks. However, adapting them to suit any rack would still be possible. Lastly, after using these for years, they are starting to show signs of wear. This hasn't affected their use in any way. And with an updated look now available, it looks like this problem may already be fixed. The quick fist is up next. These have been a reliable choice for years. And by simply releasing the rubber catch, the shovel can be pulled from the rubber body. Installation is just as simple. Push the shovel into the body and pull the rubber catch over the teeth until tight. As the name suggests, these are the quickest and simplest mounts in the lineup. These are also the most affordable, at less than half the price of the other mounts. The quick fists are a compact size too, not needing a large surface to mount to and being a slim design. The strength of these are a letdown. The simple design also means there is a lot of movement of the mount itself and each side of the catch is only very thin and can be ripped by overhanging branches. The other con is the clamping force. If the shovel isn't mounted tight, it can spin due to vibrations and potentially lead to the shovel coming into contact with the vehicle. Up next, we're looking at the Rhino Rack shovel mount. To remove your shovel, you need to completely remove the knob by unscrewing it. The bracket then folds down, giving access to the shovel. To mount the shovel, you place it onto the mount and then close it back over the shovel. Tighten the mount by screwing on the star handle. The first pro is the strength of the mount. The shovel isn't going anywhere and passes the wobble test with flying colors. Other than strength, it's also very simple, which means it'll last forever. And that leads us to our first con. The star handle is at risk of being lost due to being a separate piece. The size is also a disadvantage. It's quite a bulky unit and could pose issues if you had an overhanging rooftop tent, for example. 
The star handle design also means it's going to take quite a bit longer than the others to get your shovel out and put it back on. With a piece of metal hanging down towards your pride and joy, there's nothing preventing it from damaging your vehicle. The final mount in the lineup is a product by Yakima. To remove the shovel, squeeze the clips together and swing the mount up. To install the shovel, hold it in place and simply close the mount down until tight. So let's break it down. This is another quick and easy to use design. Unlike any of the other options here, this mount is lockable. A great feature for those worried about theft of your shovel. A couple of weaknesses to the Yakima. It's a bit bulkier than the front runner or quick fist and the shovel sits further away from the roof rack. The clamping strength isn't quite as good as some of the others. We've had a shovel slip straight out of the mount due to overhanging branches. It just needs to clamp that little bit tighter. So that was an individual look at the mounts. Let's put them head to head to compare the main selling points. Starting with the price. Quick Fist is less than half the cost of the next best and is a great bang for buck. The other three are all in a similar price point, sub $100. Strength is another critical area. Both the front runner and the rhino rack have solid mounting and clamping. And when shaking the mounted shovel, it rocks the whole vehicle. Whereas the quick fist and the Yakima don't even come close in this test. The time it takes to remove the shovel may not seem like a big deal, but for those on the road using it constantly, it can be a deal breaker. It's gotta be quick and easy. There's nothing in it between three of them However, the Rhino Rack mount is a little more time consuming with the long thread. So there you have it. There's four brands that we've tried and tested over multiple trips, multiple years. Um, there's other brands out there, but we haven't tested them, so we're not gonna comment.